once you have your character, uh, we're just going to add some basic movement script. So we're going to go to a script here, and we're going to go to control, and we're going to say when the game starts, uh, we're going to put a little forever in here, and we're going to use if on each of the different buttons. So uh, we'll use the, let's have a look here, if, we're going to use four different ifs, and the reason we do this is um, Scratch itself actually loops around all the time, keeps checking all the different scripts which are running. <clears throat> so um, if we do one which is forever on, then it will act more quickly than the previous movement we did in our last game. Now that might not make a lot of sense straight away, but um, just follow through what we're doing here, and it'll make sense in a moment. So we're going to say if up arrow is pressed, if down arrow is pressed, you should be familiar with this. Um, and of course you want your left and right then as well. Okay, So make sure those are into each of those places there first. Right and left. Okay, So those are in there. Make sure they're in there. Next up you want to be adding the actual movement. So we're just going to use some motion control here. And we're going to change Y or change X. Now if we double check back on our sprite, move across to the right. As you can see X is the left and right axis. So that would be for the right and left. So let's see, change X by that, change X by that, change Y, change Y. Now, of course, if we're going backwards, or if, uh, if we're going backwards, which is left, we're going by minus. So let's try minus 5 and plus 5. <clears throat> and on the down arrow, of course, minus 5, because we're going down that axis and up there. Let's just test that. Green flag. If I press up and down, left and right on my keyboard, as you can see he's able to fly about. Also if I hold 2 at the same time he is able to move diagonally because it's constantly looping around and checking the script and enacting it so it's much more fluid than um, the previous movement we did last time. So once you've done that stop, save and you're ready to move on to the next video. You just have to press the save icon to save once you've got that basic movement in there.